This year, the negotiations with Great Britain did not spoil the Christmas party for EU officials and diplomats in Brussels. In 2020, the agreement on a trade agreement was only reached on Christmas Eve. This time, too, it looked as if the conflict over customs regulations for Northern Ireland could escalate just in time for the contempla uh, contemplative time. But fortunately, that didn't happen. But postponed is not cancelled. In the new year, the dispute between the EU and its former member continues cheerfully. And the question of whether and how deliveries of goods to Northern Ireland have to be checked is just one of several topics of disputes between the newly divorced. After all, the economies of the EU countries and the United Kingdom are so closely intertwined that there can always be points of friction somewhere, for example with the rules for data transfers or for British banks' access to the EU market. Anyone who hoped that the Brexit issue would be concluded with a trade agreement has to be prepared for disappointment, says Sam Lowe from the consultancy Flynn Global. Whether these conflicts are amicably settled or escalate depends in turn on the incentives, says the Brexit expert. In other words, on whether Prime Minister Boris Johnson continues to believe that such conflicts will bring him votes. And whether Brussels sees Great Britain as a dangerous rival or more of an ally, or, as I slowly start to see them, just a nuisance. With the EU, some governments argue for a tougher course and some for a more cautious course. France, France is always one of the agitators, for example, on how Brussels should react if London suspends part of the Northern Ireland Protocol. The protocol guarantees that customs officers do not have to inspect trucks between Ireland and the North which is still part of the UK. For this, checks should take place at the Northern Irish ports where the trucks from the rest of the kingdom arrive. The UK government has agreed to these rules, but now calls them harassing, as does the fact that the hated European Court of Justice has ju jurisdiction over disputes. If London were no longer to comply with the protocol, the EU could strike back with punitive tariffs or even terminate the entire trade agreement with 12 months notice. Then new negotiations on an alternative agreement would begin and be sure it wouldn't be better for Britain than it is now. In Brussels, Johnson's course reinforces doubts about his trustworthiness. This also makes it difficult to progress on other issues. The EU Commission could simply fire access to the European market for London banks, but to do this, they would have to find that the UK regulations are equivalent for the industry. So far, however, this has not been the case for the vast majority of areas. And they are not likely to do differently. After all, Brussels has declared that the data protection standards are equivalent at the moment. Therefore, companies are allowed to process data from EU citizens in the UK. Unfortunately, Johnson announced that he wanted to change these rules. So, the next conflict is always lurking around the corner. And there is some brand new merch in my shop and you might find some of it quite interesting. So, please go to my shop if it hasn't appeared on my YouTube shelf yet. And I'll see you there and I'll see you in my next video. Bis gleich.